guys and welcome to this advanced video about Delivery Insights. Delivery Insights is a very cool tool that Facebook uh, offers us to really understand the detailed performance of each ad set. Um, the key features that uh, are included in the Delivery Insights is audience saturation and auction overlap. Okay, So we can really understand in detail what has been going on in each ad set. So that's pretty cool. Um, first of all, of course, we need to understand and need to see where we can access those data. Well, uh, it's not an account level, not on campaign level, not on ad level, but rather an ad set level. Okay. And within ad set level, um, you need to have set up the column delivery. Okay. And here in the delivery column, of course, you see for each ad set, rather if it is active or um, too much image in the text or if it's in the learning, it's in the learning process and stuff like that. And but what's important for us right now is just this gray area here below. See delivery insights. Um, if you hover over it, it says delivery insights becomes available when an ad set has at least 500 impressions in the last seven days, not including today, because of course it needs uh, some data to uh, give us that information. And if you then click on see delivery insights, okay, we come to this fancy page here uh, where we see a nice overview of the general data of this ad set. And then here we really start with the new information that we previous, previously did not have okay and where as i said audience saturation auction overlap okay and then here below in more detail so that's good but of course now you're interested in more details about that so let's jump right into it okay so here we have the real data here we have the real interface of the deliver insights uh, tool and as we have seen, the quick uh, general overview and here already a nice graph and some detailed information. So what does all of this mean? So let's let's just start with the easy one, activity history. Here it simply shows you what changes have been done uh, on have been taken on this ad set. For example, here on the 5th of March, the ad set uh, budget was updated from 25 to 30. So here you can see it in more detail and also um, what happens afterwards. Of course, it spent more because the budget was increased very easy. But now we come into more interesting ones like see the audience saturation, for example. OK, it comes saturated when the same people continue to see your ad instead of reaching new people or when you stop responding your ad. So that's um, usually what people refer to as the creativity fatigue and no one can really measure it usually, but this uh, this tool here really allows us to see what first time impression we had and therefore they can calculate the saturation because of course um, the higher the number of first time impressions the more new people you reach okay so if this first time impression ratio is significantly declining that means that people get more and more saturated because they see it more often okay so if we now click on that, we see exactly the evolution over the past over the past days. Okay, for example, um, on the eighth of March, impressions, first time impression, cumulative reach, and audience reach ratio. So here, this graph also allows us to. Um, to read this data a little bit better. Uh, let's start with this, the cumulative reach, which is pretty cool. It's the orange line, okay? And as you see, <coughs> of course, as it is the reach of unique people <coughs> that have seen our ad and it's cumulative, it has to increase um, so it has to increase steadily because uh, if we reach, for example, on that day, we have reached uh, around two, well, 288. So the difference between those numbers, 288 new people. Okay, so of course the, this number increases and increases. Makes a lot of sense. First time impression ratio. Here we see like the percentage of people that see our ad the first time. Okay, so far so good. <coughs> 
then a complete different topic is the auction overlap, which is uh, of course also very interesting. This shows us how many times how our own our own ad set has competed against another one of our own ad sets in an auction. Okay, so for example, this specific ad set that we're analyzing right now um, on the 11th of March. Okay, in 13% of all the auction it entered, uh, it competed against another one of our own ad sets. Okay, which is already a bit high like the other ones here three percent eight percent is okay um face the, the official recommendation of facebook here is to never uh, try to never have an auction overlap of more than of more than 30 percent and when it when you come to 30 percent you should and um, then um, put those audiences together okay so instead of having two ad sets with two different audiences that are still competing against each other all the time, you would rather uh, combine them in one ad set if this number is higher than 30, okay? But right now it's 13, which is still okay, but higher than the others. And then here, in, here you see like the number one, the number two and the number three of the most overlapping ad sets. So you would see that out of those 13%, uh, almost half of all the auctions where they competed against each other was against this ad set. So if you now click on that, you will see uh, who the audience in this ad set is. And as this was a retargeting ad on for the past page views, um, I assume that this is a very similar one. Okay. And then you have uh, second most overlapping and the third most overlapping. So those three numbers here, of course, add up to 100% because they are the 100% um uh, that make up together those 13.21 percent of the all of uh, of the all total auctions where we have seen an overlap and for you um it's very important that every time we are when you're not sure uh what's going on and what uh, specific kpi means you can just hover over the information button here and it shows you exactly an overview details how it's calculated and related issues, um, related KPIs that can be interesting for you. And another thing that I think is uh, very useful is are those further readings, okay, um, that Facebook has uh, launched a couple of weeks ago. So if you're interested into more detail about that, just go into uh, related and related and further readings and over and click on about overlapping audiences and you will see a very nice uh, information here on the right which explains exactly what that means and what could be uh, potential um, techniques that you could apply to improve your performance so guys i really hope this was useful for you and you better understand now where you can see um, your audience saturation course again the activity history and the auction overlap to better understand the performance of your ad set thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye